everybody, it's Wall Guy. I've been playing a decent amount of Call of Duty lately. Uh, there's been several incentive events lately, including a double weapon XP and double XP period. Uh, they do this fairly frequently to try to get more players online, and it works. Um, I've been taking it as a chance to max out my level on all the SMGs for the first time. I've also finally prestiged uh, in the normal experience area for the first time. Uh, during the double XP event last week, I believe it was. In the midst of all this, I decided to get my first gold camo as well. I probably would have tried to get my first gold camo with the MSMC or something like that, but when I prestiged, that weapon became locked until I got to level 28, so I took what was available to me, uh, which was the MP7. I liked that gun quite a bit as well, maybe even more than the MSMC. So it wasn't a big deal. I just sat on it and got myself uh, my first gold camo. In this round, you'll see, I do play a little bit more careful than I normally do, and that's because the last remaining things I needed to complete to get the gold camo was a few bloodthirsty awards. And to get a bloodthirsty award, you need five consecutive kills with your primary weapon uh, without killing anything else. And uh, <laughs> on a map like this especially, it's just... Uh, very frenetic pace and people are spawning all around you at all times and it's, it's tough to get five kills in a row unless you're a little bit more careful than I normally am. What I'm showing here is the first half of a domination game where I actually finished the round with uh, 61 kills which is pretty good for me uh, but I thought the first half was a lot more interesting it certainly played out a lot better for me and that's the half where I got my gold camo so I was pretty happy to get that. In fact, I think I'm about one kill away from getting it. And there it is, my first gold camo since uh, Call of Duty 4. Pretty cool. Well, everyone, we sit on the precipice of a couple of huge announcements. One is that there's a new entry in the world's most popular game about to be revealed for the first time. I speak, of course, of Call of Duty Ghosts. And we also await the reveal of the follow-up to the world's most popular core gaming system. This, of course, is the next Xbox. Uh, what can we expect to see from both? Well, it's already been announced that the next Call of Duty will run on a new engine. A lot of us are very anxious to see what will come from that. If history holds, though, this first reveal will just be a campaign trailer, maybe 30 seconds to a minute long, uh, with multiplayer being shown much later. Uh, but we may get a couple of juicy details, uh, I'm certainly hoping for something. They might want to wow us a little bit with some bit of information since this is the next generation Call of Duty. Uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. At the very least though, we should get a feel for how good the graphics will look and a better sense of the game's theme and game world, which could be radically different than what we've seen in the past, so we should definitely look forward to that. Personally, I'm really hoping that someone's able to squeeze a little bit more information from them about uh, this new engine that the game's supposed to be running on. Is it really a new engine? Are we really going to see something uh, radically different as far as the game's capabilities and fill? Or is it just going to be a couple tweaks and a little bit of pumped up graphics? Basically the same stuff that we're used to in the past. I'm curious to know what you guys want to see from the next Call of Duty. Like what would make it fresh for you if you've kind of fallen out with the series? Or if you're a longtime fan that's still playing the game, you know, still, what do you want to see from the game? What would make it amazing to you? So by all means, leave me some comments and we will discuss the next Call of Duty. As far as the next Xbox reveal goes, I expect a show similar to what Sony put on earlier in the year. We'll see some big name titles with relatively nice graphics. We'll also hear about the system's new features and Microsoft's vision for the near future of gaming. So, uh, nothing too shocking there. What could be shocking is some of the features they're pushing. We just don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And we will probably enjoy and get excited about a couple of their new titles. I know I, I would be really happy if I saw some fancy new Halo or something like that. And it's also to be expected that they've purchased another windowed exclusivity deal with Activision for Call of Duty games coming out a little bit early for them. I do expect they'll probably have a stronger games presence at this announcement than Sony did, and that is saying a lot because Sony did make a pretty good splash. 
but I expect a little bit more since they've had more time to work on it and we're closer to the system's release than we were with the Sony announcement. So it could be pretty exciting. I'm going to be following uh, the Call of Duty Ghost reveal and the new Xbox reveal pretty closely, so expect me to follow up on that pretty shortly after the event. So come back soon and be well.